Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Bask in the warmness, in the beauty, and the peacefulness, in the love. How many of you can really do that? The answer is all of you have the opportunity to drop anything which was fearful or anything which is beyond that which is love. And that has been the channeling ever since we started, dear ones. That the human being is made from a piece of that which is the cosmos. You might call it God. Have you ever wondered what your soul is made of? Have you ever wondered, is your soul then in, in charge of anything or is it not in charge? Is it, is it like the human on the planet that you've been told is nothing and God is everything? Then what is your soul and where is your soul? We've always told you that the soul is eternal. There's never a story you ever heard that makes sense of the creation of the soul. Not really. If the soul was always there, that means it is a piece of the creator that was always there. What if billions and trillions of souls make up that which is the family of God? What if you are a piece and a part of that which you call God? To some, that is blasphemous. Can't be. You've been told that God is everything and you are nothing. That is the programming you face and why some of you fear to this day, even God. These messages are about hope, and they have been for the last three weeks. This is the fourth. Paraphrasing, we've spoken about hope not being faith, because faith is trust in the unseen. It doesn't include you. Hope includes you because it's, it's a designer energy, we have told you. It's an energy that you take and you put positive expectations in front of you on that track of your future. That's hope. It's an active energy, not a passive one like faith. Hope is designed for benevolence. You, you hope for the benevolence to solve the issues that perhaps you would worry about otherwise. Hope is transformative. If you go from a person from no hope to hope, They'll live longer. The chemistry changes. Everything changes. There's joyfulness. Hope is active in that, dear ones. We've told you so many times that it's the development of an energetic consciousness. Did you hear that? It's actually a design of energetic consciousness. Hope. That is something that you, you can say is, is tangible. You're creating it. You're putting it in front of you. That's hope. Hope heals. It really does. Hope heals. Hope is the future. It really is. One who, who features hope in their lives every day of their life is one who shapes the future of everything they're going to do because hope then creates synchronicity and you meet the people that you're going to meet because you've sent that hope and that that amazing creative energy out in front of you and it's almost like synchronicity then runs into you because of it what a beautiful energy that this is this is the fourth week that we speak of this. Hope is sometimes even seen as the, the magic bullet that changes lives from despair, from depression, to joy, to understanding. Hopefulness is not just somebody who sits around, looks at things, and wishes. Hope is not wishing. Hope is a designer energy, a designer energy, one that you craft and you say, this or something better I put in front of me, hoping for the best, perhaps even not knowing what it is that is coming, but knowing that it will be better for me. 
knowing that it'll be solutions for me. But not just for me. Light workers together can create a coherence of hope that changes the planet. It's happening now, even right now. It seems sometimes like a planet on fire when you have so many things that so many people are objecting to. There is so much strife. There are so many things wrong. There are discoveries which are heartbreaking of what has been going on and what is happening. Inappropriatenesses continue to surface over and over. For those who are not aware of truly what the shift brings us and what we have been talking about for many years, and what took place starting in 2012, if you're not aware of this shift, this could be a devastating blow to your psyche, to your hopes for the planet. Not understanding that when the light turns on, the dirt shows. When light turns on in societies where there has always been inequities and the dirt is showing, inappropriateness, horror, it's all there in every society. It doesn't mean it means it's a third world or first world. It's just there. It's been human nature for eons. And when it shows, it's ugly. More has to show even still, before you get the point that as it shows, you can clean it up. As it shows, you can show others that is not going to be tolerated. That as it shows, and as it then gets dealt with and resolved, this is what to look for. Because it then will not be repeated. Because there are those who have invested in it will see, uh-oh, I better not do that anymore. There will be those who invested in it will say, well, game is over now. These things may have worked for the last 50 or 100 years, but not anymore. That's what's going on. And it's everywhere. That's why the earth looks the way it looks. But dear ones, there's something you can do now. That's beyond even that. We have asked you in the past weeks to send hope and this manifested energy to humanity. We've asked you to send it to the light on the planet for the shift. We've asked you to send it to yourself for healing. This one, a little different. It's been mentioned in the meditation. It's all about Gaia. This earth is your partner. This earth wants to participate in the hope that you have, that you designed. It's time to send it to the planet, to the air that you breathe, to the weather that is shifting, perhaps in a frightening way, but a shift that is on schedule, that has happened before, to the planet who needs to know that there will be inventions soon where you no longer have to pollute the planet to have energy. Inventions coming soon where you'll have plenty of food and water and it will have no effect at all on the planet. Time to love the planet. It is time to hug a tree, you might say, to take the hope for Gaia and push it forward. To know that it will recover and will respond. And in that, it is your partner, even still to this day. That is the hope for the future. This week, we ask you to send right now to the love that's in the valley, to the peace, to the kindness, to the compassion, all of which is Gaia. Send it there now. And do this in the name of hope. For light workers everywhere make a difference. I'm crying in love with humanity. 
And so it is.